Hello and welcome to the Pembroke Pines Book Club. Today we're going to review a book by John Irving called In One Person. And with me are Donna Cooperman. Hi, Donna. And Hi, Marilyn Elaine. Shapiro. Hello, Marilyn. Hello, Elaine. And it's a very interesting, I thought, and very strange book. I happen to love John Irving. So I expected, I don't know, Cider House Rules or Life According to Garp. And of course, it isn't. It isn't at all. Um, I'm not sure whether I liked it or disliked it. It, it was a little confusing for me. Um, you you kind of liked it, didn't you? I thought there were some very interesting elements in the book. Um, there was not one really interesting or powerful female character. No. All of the good characters, the interesting characters, yeah, the complex were, were characters, males. were men. Yep. The women were all, I mean, his mother was a you know, a, 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 a very strange, very weak woman. His aunt, his grandmother, um, they, his his lady friend Elaine, um, all very weak women. Yeah, the or, only woman that was strong was really a man. That's right. Miss Frost mm -hmm. was the only interesting female character and she was a man right. so um, I, I'm I, I enjoyed the book uh, I'm not unhappy that I read it yeah but it's not my favorite John Irving book. and I would not recommend it to anybody who would be offended by it because it is it could be offensive it's very graphic yeah uh, there are funny parts there are um, very serious parts the 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 whole um, uh, treatment of the AIDS epidemic because it spans a long period of time right. from the age from of 13, he's 15? And 13 in the 1950s uh, until his late 60s in right. 2010 so it's a it's a long period of time and a lot happened in the American culture during that time I just didn't think enough happened in the story in his yeah. story. Yeah. I know that you have the other the other side of the this John Irving book. Well, um, I'd like to front end what I have to say in that I've read most of John Irving's work and a couple of them are on my short list of best books ever. So um, I am a John Irving fan. Um, I read this when it was first printed when it first came out and uh, I remember not liking it um, so much so that when you asked me to do this review um, you didn't, didn't want to read it again I actually didn't even remember that I had read it <laughs> which I thought was kind of odd because I would read anything by John Irving and then I was up to about page eight and I said oh yeah I read this already and I put it down because I, I couldn't read it again. I, I disliked it so much the first time that I would not read it okay. again. Okay, I, I, there are things that I agree with you about this book. What didn't you like about it? Well, I thought it was uh, repetitious. I thought it was redundant. I thought, it, ultimately, I was bored by the story and the characters. So, I mean, if you're reading a novel, <laughs> You know, like, what's the point of reading it if you are bored with the redundancy and the, you know, the? It seemed as though the plot didn't go anywhere. That's you know, how I felt. Too significant, right? And certainly not. I mean, this is a big book. Um, this is not Owen Meany, you know, which you could you could dash <laughs> off in a couple of days. This was a big book, and um, I just uh, could not invest the time again because uh, I just. I was turned off by it the first time. I mean, I don't care about graphic sex and all of that. I mean, that's fine. You do whatever you want. You know, it's, it's not my <laughs> business. But uh, if it's boring. Yeah, the story you know, has, the has to go somewhere. Right. And I didn't feel that no, this, this didn't really anywhere. went anywhere for me. So I, it wasn't a John Irving kind of book. I would never recommend this book to anyone. 
you know, and I, I love to read and I love to recommend things, but this would not be on my list of books to recommend. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, the book was, uh, it, it didn't make it for me. Um, and it may have been very interesting and it may have presented a lot of um, issues that we may not have thought about before, um, but at what price? You know, and uh, you know, to, I, to I just up felt that I there always was... know if I say, I think I'm going to go clean my closet, that's a good indication that I'm not enjoying the book <laughs> <laughs> because I don't do my closets very often. Um, but any excuse to get away from the book was, was perfect for me. Oh, yeah, I just felt that there was, um, I, I enjoyed a, a great deal of it. Good. I just felt that there was too much graphic sex in it that wasn't necessary. You know, if, if, if he was with this man uh, and they tell you exactly what, who, and how, you don't have to tell you about two more. Or five. Or five. You already know. So that, that's the, that was my objection to yeah. it. Okay, the book is called In One Person. It was written by John Irving. John Irving is a wonderful writer who carries you along and has written many, this is like his 13th or 14th novel. Um, some of them, as Marilyn says, I too absolutely loved. This was not one of my favorites. And if the subject of, of bisexuality interests you, you'll learn something from this book. So that's really, that's it. For OCTV, I'm Elaine Kugelman, and thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Marilyn. Thank you. And thank you, Donna. This was a very interesting review and an interesting discussion, and I hope you enjoyed it too.